Hey, hey, hey! Welcome aboard. Secret Board Agent Catman. Reporting for duty. Oh, our chat isn't working. Hang on. Hang on. Let's crash and get the chat working. I can fix that very quickly. Right. Live stream. Pop out chat. Give me a link, pop out chat. I can fix this really fast. Fixed. Right, we should have some chat now. Let's reset the car and go again. Alright, best way to start these cars. There's a car approaching. Don't cross the white line. Watch your mirrors. Clear left. Car right. Clear right. On your left. Hold your line. Hold your line. Still there. Clear left. Left side. Still there. Clear left. On your right. Clear right. Hey Van Jean, how are you? Oh, I'm sad your holiday's it's over. I've just been lunch. I've just been lunch by, left. On your left. by a noddy Clear car. Left. Don't worry, Vanjie. It's nice to have you aboard. How are the sound levels? I'm not very fast in these at all. I mean, Catman isn't very fast in these. You're the only viewer, Vanjie, because this is an unlisted stream. I didn't want to get Catman into trouble. It's just for you guys on Missed Apex. Right side. Clear right. Car right. Clear right. I'm glad you had a nice holiday. It looked nice in the photos. It looked like you're having a really good time. Whoa. I think I should make it uh, a public stream, Benji. Okay, go on, I'll, ma I'll make it public. Off the pace. I'm just going to crash into this wall. I'll make it public. Bad look, Brad. That looked bad. You okay? Right, the guy in front has just done a 105.86. We've been called into the pits by the stewards for repairs. Are you alright? So Van Jean, is the um is the sound level from the you know the the crew chief is it too loud or is it about right? I've just made it public. Um let's see if I can get the crew chief sound level down a bit. It's a bit loud for me. There we go. Oh we're public now, Van Jean. And how's the music? Can you even hear the music? Okay, cool. Thank you, Alex. 
Crew chief. Okay, I've just turned him down. Wow, look at all the de all the debris that comes off these cars. The damage model is awesome. Look at the way they bend. You can barely hear the music. Okay. Right, race is starting. Here we go. Morning, Mum. Banjean, do you like my telemetry offline thing at the bottom left? Yeah, I'll turn the music off when I'm on track. You shouldn't hear it when I'm on track. I'll just turn it off. I've got a button for that. If I ever forget, just let me know. Yeah, do you like the telemetry section at the bottom left? The music's too loud now. I barely changed it. Right. No, I'm not just going to turn it off. I'll turn it off when I'm on track. Pretext it looks clear. Right, this is the warm-up, I think. I've just noticed my, um... Just noticed something on the stream is wrong. The, um, the video. Or is it the overlay? Yeah, the overlay. Hang on, where is it? Ah, I didn't realise it wasn't fixed. There we go. It's in the right place now. The overlay was in slightly the wrong place. I obviously unlocked it for some reason. Fixed. Um, yeah, I made that telemetry offline. Yeah, I made it on Photoshop, Alex. Um, because I wanted something... I wanted there to be something there for when I'm not on track. Track temperature's decreasing. It's now So obviously when I'm, Celsius. when I'm off track, it doesn't just have a blank box. I wanted it to look like there was obviously something supposed to be there. So I made that. It took me ages to make that whole section, but it, it works really nicely now. It's like always there. It's just really cool that it's integrated. It's not like stuck on top of the... On top of the overlay, you know? Right, so... Because we're secret agent Catman, we're going to be in a really, really low split here. Do I just press a button? No, I don't press anything. It just, it just comes up automatically, Alex. I think we're going to the race any moment now. I've also just noticed that the, the little track map needs to be slightly fixed. So let's fix that. Where is the track map? Uh, map. So I need to change the width of this to like 2,200. Or maybe I need to go into the transform section. No, it's not cropped. Okay. It just seems the track map seems to lose parts um, occasionally. I don't know why. Okay, Vanjean, we can do that. A lot of it's just um, made on Photoshop. So how long till the race? It must be, yeah, it's any second now. Oh, qualifying. Do you like the look of the stream though, Vanjean? It's, it's pretty watchable now, isn't it? We've got 60 frames per second um, webcams all around. Um, and everything should be clear. Um, so, right, here we go, qualify. Hi, Goki. It exits clear. Okay, Brad, we've got two laps to set a decent time. Right. Formula V Adventures with Secret Agent Catman. In the bottom split. We've not really practiced, but by rights, we shouldn't need to in the bottom split, so let's see. Yeah, Van Jean, I think I think the layout of this stream, when you think of it as a as a, a compromise between watching it on a big screen TV or watching it on a phone or on a on like an iPad, I think the layout is oh hi girls. Hi Phoebe. Hi the other one. It's Isla, I know it's Isla. Um yeah, I think the compromise of this layout is is pretty good now compared to most streams. I've just noticed the track map is over the top of the flags, so I need to change that. 
We should really start at the back, shouldn't we, in this? Just for fun. Maybe we'll start at the back in the next one. Or maybe, maybe I'll start at the back just by virtue of having a rubbish qualifying lap. Who knows? Exactly, Goki. Is the car volume compared to my voice alright, guys? So I've had to play around with that. I think I can make the car louder. Oh, the car's on full volume. I'll start at the back, Banji. I'll just see where I qualify anyway. I kind of also want Catman to get a good... I want Catman to get a good rating, you know? Position. But we just we'll we'll start from the back because we just won't enter the grid. Car never loud. So this car still isn't loud enough for you, Van Jim. It's like super loud in my ears. I don't know how I can make it any louder. Are you sure it's not just that my voice is too loud, and then if I turn myself down, you can then turn the whole thing up? Is that not what should happen? Hi, Paul. I'm just going to spin. And uh, what will start me from the pit lane? And and Banjean, let me know. Is it my voice is too loud compared to the car? Or is it just that both of them are quiet? Because if my voice is too loud, I'll just turn it down. And then you can turn the whole thing up. Then the car will be loud. Um, I just turned down the input here. There we go. So I can like, turn down my volume. You can't hear the car. What the hell? Okay. What about now? Is that any louder? Is the car better now? Yeah, I think this track probably is on Gran Turismo. Guys, how's the... How's the sound now? I've turned... I think I've turned it up. Right, just let me know um, if, if that's okay. Um, right, cool. So we'll go to the racing mode. Right. Far better, but I'm too quiet. Okay. There we go. Well, how about now? I've turned both up. Um, so, okay, cool. Um, I don't know what you're talking about, Moritz. Um, okay. Oh, we need the music back. This is Halloween spooky music. This isn't my normal music. Should we change it back to my normal music? I'll just change it. Uh, where does my music live? It lives in desktop. We're just waiting for qualifying to finish so we can start at the back. There we go. Just change the music back to normal. Much, much nicer music now. So, Van Jean, how do I start at the back? Do I just not join the grid until right at the end? We're just waiting for qualifying to finish. I think Van Jean's had to board his plane now. These are the slowest, most horrendous cars on our racing. They're so bad. I really hate them. Okay, so it's oh, it's one minute fifty seconds until the end of qualifying. Sorry, guys, it's a really long qualifying session. It's just because the track's so short; it takes like no time to do the the qualifying laps. Oh, Moritz, no, I wasn't planning on regularly streaming with this account, but 
if you like it, maybe I will. So this, I'm going to use this account to um, to do silly races. You know, races that um, I don't want to risk the I rating on on the main account with. Um, you know, I'd never just jump into a Formula V race with my main account because I'd just hemorrhage I rating. I love this music. So this music's from Epidemic Sound, which is a website that is used for like, um, you, you pay a subscription so you can have unlicensed music on your YouTube channel. Hey, Grandad. Hey, Mum. Oh, don't get too excited. This is not a particularly exciting race. This is like low bottom split, like slow drivers. And we're going to start at the back. But having said that, the guys at the front, Van Jean, the music doesn't suck, so I'm not taking this anymore. You, your choice of music is just not very good. I might, this music is music I really like, so I'm leaving this music. It's like Avicii. I really like Avicii style music. It's called like Euphoric Electric or something like that. It's absolutely perfect for background stream music. I'd listen to this in the car. Right, so any wow, all the oil smoke that comes out of these cars. Is That's hilarious. the end of the session. You're on pole. Well done. So Alex, what do I do? How do I start from the back? What do I do? Do I just not grid? Do I just wait until it until it gets to zero? It's not gonna stop me from entering the race, is it? We are in con la freno, chavale. Dale, José, va. Ore por ti. I can't what? Be careful with brakes. Can I not start from the back? Surely if I just don't so grip. The... Oh, so what, should I start from the pit lane or should I not, or should I just start on the grid where I am? It's a 12 minute race, is it, is it worth starting in the pit lane? Might be boring. I don't know, but maybe starting from poles boring. Pit lane, yeah, we're going to vote on a pit lane start. Well, I don't, I don't necessarily want to avoid the carnage. I want to be part of the carnage, but... Okay, we'll just start from the pit lane. Yeah, I, I can't start from the grid unless I'm on pole. So, at least we've got a pole position for the Catman Chris Turner account. So, we'll just wait until grid gets to zero. Okay, right, so we've missed the grid. 12 minutes. The Here track temp is 27 Celsius. So we're doing a pit lane start. Okay, Brad, get ready. Go, go, go. Watch your mirrors, there's a car approaching. He's <laughs> better sound to the middle of the pack. <laughs> what? How is that possible? He <laughs> just let us out into the pack. Okay, I didn't know I was supposed to wait for everyone to go past. I, I didn't think it would let me out until everyone had gone past. Right, well, anyway, I'm, I'm actually not very good in these, so it's going to be a bit of a fight anyway. If we get to the lead, we'll just drop back and let people through. So let's try and get up to the lead, and then we'll just like let everyone through again. It's all third gear. This track is all third gear. Right side. <laughs> Still there. Oh, no right. He tried to touch us. Car right. Clear right. Car right. Ah. 
Hold your line. That guy in the lead's actually They're quicker right. than me. P2. Maybe not, maybe not. Whoa! On your right. Clear oh, right. Oh, we just took out loads of people! <laughs> okay, right. Let's try again. Like, really? Right side. Hold your line. Clear right. This is quite good fun. Oh, look, he thinks he's going to break the toe. He's like 1.2k. Car left. Still there. Hold your line. Clear left. On your right. Hold your line. Clear right. On your left. That's a quite good little tussle with this Still there. Clear left. Let him stay ahead. Why, Vanji? Okay, I'll let him back through, but... Go on. Car left. Clear left. Right, we, we should probably drop back and race some of the other guys. We'll just overtake him a couple more times, then we'll drop back and race some of the other guys. Okay, Brad, there's a car exit in the pits. Heads up. P2. Do one lap in reverse? No, I can't do that, man. Try and back him up, that's a good idea. But the other people are too far back. They're all like really super far back and he'll probably just crash into me if I try and back him up. And he won't know what's going on. It's a bit mean. I think I, I, think I will just overtake him one more time then I'll drop back and fight past some other people. Ooh, that was a bit defendy. Left side. I kind of want to win a race for Catman's account. Still there. But Hold your line. He keeps losing time Hold by changing line. gear. I'm not changing gear at all. I'm third Still gear the there. whole way around. And he keeps going down to second and up to fourth. Hold your line. Clear left. On your right. The problem is, even though we're fighting, I don't think Hold we're letting P3 catch. But I can try. Hold your line. Okay, okay. Let, let's Still try there. and make P3 catch. Still there. Yeah, see, he. Oh, right. he's just hit us. You're in the lead. Oof. Right side, clear right. Okay, well, P3 has definitely caught us now. I think we're broken. I think the car's broken. Yeah, the car's broken. Oh, that's a shame. Right. We'll need to pit for repairs. We'll, well be now we're, in by now the we're definitely getting repaired. That might be the car out. Oh, that's a shame. Let's see what happened. Yeah, the car's broken. We're out. Oh, that's annoying. Sorry, Catman. I've just lost your eye rating, mate. <laughs> yeah, he just like, understeered straight into us. Boom! So, that's what happens when you don't just clear off in the, in the lower splits. <laughs> this is what I was worried about. Kind of like getting in his way and letting people catch up i thought he was just gonna like run into us at some point but this is where it really went wrong i was hard on the brakes to try and avoid anyone this guy just boom <laughs> amazing okay well i think we're out of that race i don't think that's repairable oh i mean unless there's a fast repair do you get fast repairs in this okay brad that's half distance fuel levels are fine oh you get a fast repair you get a fast repair we're gonna get back in this race we're going to get back in this race. 
Let's just wait for the repair. We've got 30 seconds left and then we're getting back on with it. Yeah, so the only way to be safe in these is just to like, is just to drive off into the distance. How long have we got? 14, 13, 12, 11. Oh, why is it doing? Oh no, it's changing tires. I'm filling up the fuel. We don't need that. Stop it. Stop it. We don't need fuel. Five minutes to go. Five minutes left. We're looking all right here. Keep <laughs> your concentration we? nice <laughs> and smooth. Apparently we're looking all right. traffic behind. Now. Keep your wits about you. Blue flag. Right. Let's see where we can finish. We got P7 is 19 seconds in front of us. Can we catch him? Right. This is now going to be damage limitation. Even though we filled the blooming fuel tank up <laughs> in the pit. Blue I forgot flag. you had to turn that off. Right, P7's 19 seconds ahead. We've got cold tyres. Let's see if we can catch him. How long is left? How long have we got left? Four minutes. Oh, it's like three laps. Very, very cold front tyres. P8. Don't think we're going to catch him because I reckon he's actually reasonably quick. But yeah, we're not catching P7. We would if the race was longer, but... Nice to know there's a fast repair though, I have to remember that. We do some more of these. I, I kind of wanted to jump on and just get a load of I rating for Catman, and what we've actually done is probably lost him I rating, <laughs> which is not ideal. Sorry, Catman. Oh, oh, this guy, P6, there's had a crash or a spin. Nope, we're catching him. Oh my god, the understeer is just horrible. We are catching P7. Yellow flag, watch out. Two minutes to go, two minutes. Eight seconds away. Two minutes, eight seconds to catch. Tell you what, Vanjin, if I do this all day, I'm going to get very, very good in the Formula V. Uh, Vanjin, I hope you have a nice flight. These cars are awful.
after eluding Catman 29 I rating at the moment. One more lap to go. Sorry, Catman. P8, that's the end of the race. Bad luck, mate. Right, it's a shame you don't have a higher reverse gear. Oh, there goes the engine. <laughs> um, so, Liam, the overlay is called Race Lab Apps. And it's the one, you can see it uh, on the left-hand side there of the screen. Um, so, you can see... P8, you see, we lost 29 I rating. But I say we, it wasn't wasn't me, it was Catman. So, right, so that's the end of that race. Let's put the music back on. So you just have to wait for this to uh, to load. Let's see what else we can do. Might have to wait now for the next one. When's the next Formula V race? Probably in in 11:30. Oh, it's every hour, is it? Okay, half an hour to the next one. Cool, I'll just do a few of these then. Right, so we'll just wait for the next session to become available in like two or three minutes. And we'll go for it. Do you know what? Eye racing's going all blurry today. It's weird, look. Everything's all blurred out and then it comes clear. Go one minute twenty seconds, then I can register for the next race, and then uh, I'll chill out for a little bit, and we'll come back in half an hour do the next one. Why do you think eye racing keeps going blurry? Oh, I've got a coffee here somewhere. Well, I'll just grab my coffee. I'll be back in two seconds. It's just on the table behind me. Back, I've got my Mist Apex coffee. When can we register? Must be very, very soon. 17 seconds. So these races are literally every hour, so that's quite cool. I can do loads of these. What's going on in the iRacing chat? <laughs> Thanks, Banji. Thanks for sharing that. All right, here we go. Any moment now, we should be able to register. Should be any moment now. Formula V. Where's the next race?
Why can't? Why isn't it letting us register? It should be now. Thirty minutes prior to the session. Yeah, it's obviously just being a little bit slow. Van Jean, that's a great screenshot you sent. Okay, so that what that shows me is I need to change the flag position on the stream. So let's do that now whilst I'm waiting. I was waiting for this race to allow me to... Here we go. Right, register for the race. Let's move the flag position. Uh, flags, here we go. Unlock flags. Where should we pop them? There's not much space left on the screen, really, for flags. I think maybe up here. Going to have to see whether that's in the right place when we get back in the session. Here we go. Our racing is glitching like crazy today. Look, can you see on the screen how the text keeps going really blurry? Very weird. Very, very weird. Right. So I'm not quite sure what we do now. What do we do? Do we do we just not qualify every time? And guys, by the way, you don't have to watch this. This is just me mucking around, really. You don't have to actually sit and watch this stream. Um, but I do kind of feel like we should get Catman to my rating. So maybe we should just try and win the race. Maybe we should start at the back, but try and win the race. How about that? They're not, this isn't very exciting, though, these cars. The problem is Catman doesn't own any of the good cars, so I'm trying to trying to think what else we could enter. He owns MX-5, but that's pretty rubbish as well. He doesn't really own any good stuff. Text, it's clear. Stay what behind the white then, line. Is it is, yeah, it's fixed setup. What I'm going to do is I'm going to get pole, if I can, and then I'm going to start from the pit lane, and I'll wait for all the cars to go past, because um, because you saw in that last one, it let you start really early out of the pits. He's got a GT3, has he? Oh, we might do GT3 then after this. Is MX-5 actually better? Maybe we should do MX-5 next time, Carl. This thing is horrendous, this car. We'll do one more of these races. I just quite like the track. It's like a go-kart track. Do GT3 fix. I don't think he's got the right tracks though, Van G. That's the problem. I think I'd, I'd have to buy the tracks. I don't really want to spend any money. What tracks GT3 fixed out this week? Such front grip. The funny thing is, in this car, one shot speed, you just don't change gear. You just stay in third everywhere. Van Jean, she's allowed your armrest if you've got. Have you got something else? Have you got the window seat or have you got the aisle seat or what? Because if you've got one of those, then you don't have right over an armrest, I don't think. You're in the middle. Oh, in that case, you you are allowed at least one armrest. Mm. 
I don't really know what to say. You've got to say to her, no me diga. I think that's Spanish. Oh my god, look at the understeer. And then the grassy oversteer. Oh no! <laughs> Your quickest overall. This car is just the nastiest thing. How long have we got to the race? 25 minutes. Oh, I, can't, I can't just drive around 25 minutes on this. I might go have a shower. I think I might just go have a shower whilst I'm waiting. I might go jump in the shower, get properly dressed, and then we'll come back and do the race, and then we'll do proper stream through the day. But I'll leave this same stream running. Alright, let's just put, um, just put it on like a replay. And on slow-mo, and I'll put the music on. I'll go jump in the shower, and the race is in like 24 minutes. Okay. That's what we'll do. I can drink my coffee. Check the cats are okay. There we go. Banjean, have a nice flight. I'll be back soon. Oh, I've moved the wrong thing. Look, I've moved the track map. What's going on there? Have I done that? That's supposed to be over there. So, I didn't want to move that. I wanted to move flags. Flags, there we go. Uh, hopefully that works. Right, back in a minute. The guy behind has just done a 109.90.
the guy behind has just done a 107.57. The leader has just done a 108.06. The leader has just done a 106.46. Yeah, Van Gene, I do have a back soon text. Right, that's nice. Refreshed, showered. Okay, so we need to think of what we're going to do after this. So maybe we'll do GT3. Let's have a look and see what GT3 stuff's available. Just load up the iRacing uh, thing. Right, let's look for GT3. I don't think Catman is... I don't think there's anything on that Catman owns a show. Why is iRacing blurring the whole time? It's weird. Tell you what, let's not use the UI. Let's use the website. Just done a 106.56. Think if there's anything that we can do GT3 wise.
Hmm, let's have a look. We don't want oval, we only want road. Fix setup. He's got Ferrari. He's got a Ferrari challenge thing. Ferrari GT3 challenge. At road Atlanta. Is that just time trial? Oh, hang on. That, that isn't necessarily a car that he owns. Hmm. He's only got a C license as well. There we go. Let's try again. So we've got Formula V. Yeah, right. This is, Oh, we could do the rough GT3 Global. Cooper Tyres Fixed Championship. Welcome Laguna to the new Soka. fastest lap for Lovato. 105.88. Ah, oh, he doesn't own a track. Okay. Right, I'll try the UI again. I'm just waiting for this race session to start. One with a run out at Monza might be fun. The leader's just done a 105.67. So we do form with a run out at Monza. What else is there? Road Atlanta touring cars. BMW. At Watkins Glen in the M4, that could be quite good fun. That could be pretty fun. BMW at Watkins Glen. But then I think, why don't I just do it on my account? Because I'll get mullered, that's why. Um, what's this? Production car, open part. No, they look horrible. He's at F3 at Donington, but he doesn't own Donington. That would be quite good fun, though. Is that fixed? LMP2 at Road Atlanta. Maybe we should do the Cooper Tyres Laguna Seca race. The guy behind has just done a 108.00. I think that might be the most fun. Maybe we'll just buy that for him. We already own that. Ah, I can't. Let's see if I can buy this for him. Oh, CC. Hi, CC. Yeah, they're cool pedals, aren't they? 
Okay, so uh, you're not you're not going to put your OBPs on until. Sorry about this, let's control. Until you've got um, the rest of your rig, okay. I'm just seeing if I can buy this track for this account. Apparently you own Laguna Seca, Catman. So what's going on? So what is it you don't own? Is it the car? USF 2000. Right. much is it to buy this car? Oh wow, you've had you've had OBP pedals for four to five months. The leader has just done a 105.60. Eleven dollars ninety-five. Should we just do it for Catman? Oh, I don't want to use his own paper. Oh, I can't. Yeah, I can't. I can't do it. Otherwise, I have to add a card and all that kind of thing. So, looks like we're stuck in the uh, Formula V. I can't buy stuff on Catman's account. That's a shame. Yeah, Laguna's free, but the US Formula Ford 2000 isn't annoying me. How long? How long? Five minutes. Five minutes. I'm just going to see if there's any other series we can enter. Move, George. Move. We might have to do some off-road or something. NASCAR pickup. Is he eligible for this? We could do this Alton Park thing. Let's try this. The guy behind has just done a 107.82. I think we can do this. I think we can enter... We've, we've found one. Hi, Mioxa. Okay, so what we can do is we'll we'll enter this production car sim lab challenge thing. We'll do this after this. So when's the next race? 11.30. We won't do that one because that's the one. That's what we're about to enter. But we'll do the 12.30 one of these. Alton Park. There we go. We found one. We found something we can do. Right. Let's just go do a couple of laps. Then. Right, let's just do a couple of practice laps before we start. Everything's fine, me, Oxley, yeah. There's traffic behind. Take care. It's my last day at home, really, before um, before I have to drive back to the south of France. Or, or to the, not back to the south of France. I'm off to the south of France tomorrow. So I've got a Halloween party tonight. 
at um, Martin and Emma's. Where I'm dressed up, dressing up as a pigeon. I might put my costume on in a bit, if you want to see my cool costume. Um, so Martin and Emma have fancy pigeons, and I'm dressing up for the Halloween party as one of their pigeons. His name's Freak Show, and he's got like a, a bald white head, and he's got like fluffy brown feathers that come around his neck, so I've got a costume like that. <laughs> I don't think so, Moritz. I'm going to move the view down a bit for you. B13. Oh, you don't need to go down to second for that. So these cars are like driving really slow rental cars. That would be funny, CC. Guys, just let me know how the volume settings are now, my voice versus the engine and everything else. Until I get a mixing desk, it's really impossible to know how it sounds to you guys. Sounds good, okay. So my voice isn't too loud, basically. Thanks, guys. E12, that's your fastest lap. That was a 106.55. You've got to be super smooth, because any tiny slide with this car loses you loads of time. Way too hot under that. P11, good lap. That's your quickest today. You're now 0.7 off the pace. That lap was a 106.34. Good lap. That's there your you quickest go. Ra so far. Race just done a 105.74.
Right, here we go then. Try what, CC? What should I try? It takes it, it's clear. <laughs> This car isn't actually powerful enough to do donuts. <laughs> okay, we, we're gonna have to do. We're gonna choose a different car for the next race. We're gonna do something totally different. I know, the, the, literally, because it doesn't have a limited slip diff either. It just spins the inside wheel when you try and do donuts. On your left, clear left. Right, we'll do this race and then, then we'll find something different. The track temperature's decreasing. Whoa. It's now 27 Celsius. Well, so it really does have Gran Turismo on the sign there. So when Paul was talking about Gran Turismo earlier, it was kind of right. IndyCar Red Bull Ring. Okay. We're having a vote for IndyCar. Uh, uh, voice meter from VB Audio. Okay, that's interesting. Thanks, CC. Just waiting for qualifying to start. Must be any moment now. Ten seconds. My pedals do not leak. No, what, what do you mean by leak? You mean uh, as in hydraulic fluid leaking? No, they don't leak. Why do you ask, Mohammed? Here we go, qualifying. Pit exit's clear. You've got two laps to get the job done. So, what we're going to do is try and get pole position if we can. And then we're going to start from the pit lane, start last, and try and raise up through the order and see if we can get to the front. But first of all, let's try and get pole. Oh, that's a shame. It, what what pedals do you have, Mohammed? Are they the same as this? No, that's interesting. I, I've not got any leaks. I've never had a leak, I'm afraid. So that sounds like there's a problem with yours. Sorry about that, Mohammed. a bit slow through that. Well, well these still are load cell, Mohammed, so they're, they're hydraulic, but they're still a load cell pedal. Pole. We're not on pole yet. We're going to have to try better on this lap. Oh, we're going to get off track. No! Okay, we're not going to get pole. That's annoying. Just a mistake. 
So we're not on pole, but anyway, we're starting from the pit lane anyway. Yeah, I understand, Mohammed. Yeah. That was annoying, look. Understeer machine. So, yeah, I mean, we were all four wheels outside the white line, so fair enough. Right, so we will just wait for qualifying to finish. We've got four minutes or so, so we can chill out for a moment. We can chat about pedals and drink some coffee. I can find where I put... Where did I put my coffee? Oh, I left it on the table behind me. I'm an idiot. The leader has just done a 107.66. The guy behind has just done a 106.07. The guy behind has just done a 106.00. Right. God, look, everyone in this race is either a 1.4 or 1.3k R rating. Um, so, I need to put the... I've just noticed we don't have the SimLab and Rosso Sim Racing thing up. And what else are we looking for? We should have an OBP logo somewhere. Why is that not up? Uh, where's my OBP logo? Pedals logo. There we go. Let's move the track map down slightly. Boom. Lovely. So guys, in case you didn't catch it yesterday, um, Make sure you go back and watch my Spanners Learns the Nurburgring video. That was good fun. Um, this one. You can just you can uh, check that out on my past streams. It was good fun. Spanners um, Spanners learnt or drove the Nurburgring. I think learnt a lot of it. So he did pretty well. No Spanners. That was good fun. Anyway, it's enough of that. Oof. So, yep, you're right. Um, I don't need to change tyres or get extra fuel. Thanks, Moritz. Thanks for that. I'll try and remember that this time. be nearly race time so we'll start from the back and then we won't do another formula v because they do super suck we'll do something different yeah spanners did really well for his first shot really really well we were impressed i was impressed how long have we got one minute 45 until the end of qualifying Morning, Zila plays. Zila plays. That's a that's a new name on the stream. I don't recognise that. Yeah, a good weekend. Yeah, my um my other half, Becca, is away at a wedding, which is a shame because I'm only home for a couple of days. Um, and I, I'm going to a Halloween party tonight, and tomorrow I'm driving to south of France to do some tyre testing at the Goodyear circuit at Miraval. So it's a long drive. It's about a 15 hour drive tomorrow to get down to the south of France. Uh, and then five days testing and then back back for hopefully for two or three weeks until I then have to fly to Finland to Lapland to um, do some snow tyre testing. So got um, a rare couple of days at home, but thought we'd have a bit of fun with this Smurf account. Drink coffee, chill out, have a lay in, spend time with my cats. That's basically my uh, my day until I go to the Halloween party dressed as a pigeon. Anyway, hopefully it answers your question, Zilla Place. We've got 38 seconds until we go into the race. So what we're going to do is we're going to just start at the back. We'll let everyone come through, then we'll go. Late Halloween party, 
It's, it's an, well, I guess it's an early Halloween party because it's a day early, but it'll be late at night, yeah. Yes, I'm dressing up as a freaky pigeon. How does a test day look like? Um, I mean, from my point of view, from a, a tyre test, we're testing road tyres. Um, I have a set of different types of tests that I have to conduct. And it could be anything from aquaplaning, wet braking, dry handling, dry braking. They're dry handling track. Looks beautiful, by the way. You... That's the end of the session, P2. If you Google the, the Goodyear test circuit Miraval, you'll see it's a really beautiful track in the south of France. Um, how comfortable is that GP seat? Yeah, it's awesome. Yeah, it's really good. So this seat was bought for me by M4M. Here we go. The logo is there. Um, so thanks M4M for this. They also bought me my graphics card. Um... Yeah, the seat's awesome. You have to work quite hard sometimes to get it to the right position. So if I show you, I had to I had to really mount the seat low down. I had to make some kind of special brackets to mount it low in the frame here and to mount the pedals up really, really high. Um, but yeah, it's great. I love it. This, this seat position is just really nice. I feel like I'm in almost a single seater position. I don't quite have my feet as high as they would be in a single seater, but that's deliberate because I'm not always driving single seaters. So it's kind of, this is like a lovely almost single seater but a bit more comfortable than a single seater position so my feet are certainly kind of level with my bum but they're not higher like you might see sometimes like the, the bottom of people's bums are low and then their feet are higher my feet are kind of level so it's just nice and comfy and the seat i've got like an extra cushion behind me but it's super super comfy right 49 seconds until we miss the grid and then we'll start from the pits this time we're going to wait for the cars to come through because last time it went green and we just left the pit and we were like in P3, even though we started from the pit lane, so. Not long. 30, 30 seconds till we can get on the grid. Alright, we'll turn the music off once we sit in the car. Here we go, nearly missed the grid. The track temp is 27 Celsius. Right. Get ready, mate. Let's wait for the cars to come through this time. Green, green, green. There's a car approaching. Don't cross the white Here line. Here we go. See how far up we can get left without side, being crashed out. Left. These crazy little ant cars. Car right. Still there. Clear right. Thoughts on these cars? I really hate them. They're horrible. I think they're probably horrible in real life as well. Right, so we started from the pit lane. We made up a couple of places. Can we make up any more? I've got no idea what these guys in front are going to be like. Where they're going to put their cars. So we've got to be a little bit careful so we don't lose our wheels early on. But we also need to make progress. Eighth place. Car left. Clear left. Third gear all the way. We're not going to change gear at all. Let's spin her ahead. Clear left. We're through. We're through. Nobody behind us got through though. <laughs> what are we up to, people? Right, now we've got to get our heads down. That was close though. Very, very close to being wiped out. Yeah, we're P4. See if we can get on the podium from the pits. The race isn't very long though. It's only a 12 minute race. And we're not actually necessarily any quicker than these guys. So let's see. That was close though. Right, so the leader's four seconds away. He might be uncatchable. Let's see what we can do with the other guys.
So 2.7 seconds to the podium. P4. Two point three seconds, two point four. Oh, it'd help if I can make an apex. The leader's pulling away actually. I think the lead is out of reach. So Danny Henny said he's tested one of these. Yeah, okay. So hang on, so you're saying they drive like they drive an iRacer? Alright, it's going to be hard to catch these guys, but I'm going to keep pushing. They might start fighting. They don't run on slicks in real life, do they, Danny? Are they not on treaded tyres? Right, we're starting to catch now. Yeah, I thought they ran on treaded types. Right, we're catching all three cars ahead now, but maybe not enough time before the end of the race. Seven minutes. Oh, let's okay, see. Okay, Brad, we're gaining on this car. The gap is 1.8 seconds. Understair City. So our pit lane start was quite good that time. Definitely a lot of it is a beetle, isn't it, Danny? Oh, they're fighting! They're fighting! The car ahead is green. The gap to De Vries behind is now 2.4 seconds. They're going to be tough to pass. I think the leader's out of out of reach, unfortunately. Yeah, these We're guys are home. definitely within okay. reach. Oh no, I've got the marbles! Whoa, it's super slippery out there. I was trying to cut back on them. I thought I'd go wide and cut back. There's just no grip out there. Right, note to self. Don't try to go wide at that heaven. That was like an easy move. Just definitely let the leader go that time then. Understeer. Danny, imagine how much your head moves around in an actual fast car with an open top. I quite like this track. Yeah, it feels like a kart track. Car left, clear left. Pretty clear sure left. he just spun on his own. So I did not touch him.
We're up to the podium. Pits to podium. Smurf account, Roed. Well done, Brad. This is great. Come on, keep nailing those exits. P3. On your left. Hold your line. Hold your line. Hold your line. Clear left. On your left. Clear left. Oh, he's going to stop us catching the leader. Not that we probably had enough time anyway, but we could have tried. Just gonna have to send it, mate. Yeah, don't worry. Well, I'm just trying to be nice because he's like 1300 I rating. Right side. Still there. Still there. Hold your line. Clear right. Good move, mate. Let's see if we've got any hope of catching the leader. Just ignore him, he'll go away. Oh, is he coming through? Oh, that's a shame. On your right. Hold your line. Clear right. That's two minutes left. Two minutes. P2. One lap left. Well, maybe two laps left. Still a bit too much to catch three seconds, though. Okay, Brad, one more to go. Keep it together, oh, we'll be on more. the podium. That's a shame. Pit lane to P2, but we're easily quick enough to win, even if we hadn't waited right to the last minute to pass people at the, at the start, if we just left the pit straight away. Carlos Fernandez got off lightly there. I'm not sure. What car am I thinking for map enduro? I honestly don't know. Wh whichever one's quickest, really, Danny. What's the quickest around Silverstone? I'm easy with those GT3 cars. I don't really care. Maybe not the Ferrari. I don't know. I, I don't care. The BMW sounds boring. That's the problem. It doesn't look very cool. 
Great well done, drive. Carlos. That's a podium. Well done, Chris. I think two more laps and then you will arrive. Right, uh, so let's just go back to the start. I don't care which car, honestly. But ideally one that looks like a GT3 car, you know? It looks cool. <laughs> yeah, cheers. Zila plays. It made me laugh as well. Yeah, exactly, Moritz. The BMW is just a bit boring. I think we should go for... I don't really like Lamborghinis. So I think maybe we should go for, like, the Audi or something. Is the Corvette one? Is there a Corvette GC3? Maybe not that. Uh, the the um, Mercedes. I've always really liked the Mercedes. That's pretty cool. Is this where everyone crashes in front of us? I think it is. I think there's a huge crash we just missed. But isn't the McLaren the really old McLaren? <laughs> Everybody crashes. <laughs> oh, it's amazing. Yeah, the Z4 GT3 is one of my favourites. One of my absolute favourites. Right, let's let's choose another race to go. Let's choose something else. Right, what, what can we do? What is Chris eligible for? So we were looking at the production car challenge at Alton Park. So you have to update. So let's update and then see what we've got. Just updating. Cheers, CC. Yeah, it's, it, it doesn't really count as awesome because it's obviously like a really low rank race, but it's good fun. So just let this update and install. Do oval legends. Uh, legends aren't aren't particularly. Um, I don't really want to do oval. If I can help it. So Catman said. So Catman said I can use his count to get a track a car Ooh. let's ask for sure because that'd be good fun proper racing there cool cars i think it's fixed as well is it fixed hang on filter the results to fix setup we only want to fix setup Yeah, USF 2000 is fixed. I think maybe we should do that. Let's just see. Right, we've had permission. Let's do it. Let's get the USF 2000. No, rally cross I, I suck at. Let's get this. We'll 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 work it out then. 
Maverick. But it's Cooper Tires, so you know it's like the company I work for. So, so it's appropriate. Let's do it. We're gonna do Laguna Seca USF 2000. So, where is it? USF 2000. It says I need to update. I think we're in the middle. Yeah, we're just updating. Right, where is it? Where is it? Here. Can I register for a race? Race at 12. Oh, I just missed it. Oh, so the next race isn't for another hour. Hmm, maybe I could go to the shops. Okay, well, let's register for a practice and get good in the practice, and then we'll race in an hour. Uh, the li it's difficult with the livery because I can't log into his trading paints. So I have to, I'm going to just have to make a livery on here. Oh, hang on. So I need to, I can't make a livery if I'm, if I'm in the session. So I need to do it now. So hang on, my content... Where's USF 2000? Here. Oh, he's already got a nice fetching pink livery. Let's make it more pink. So, should we go like more like hot pink, like this? And maybe black? What goes with pink? Yeah, that looks a bit horrible. This is quite cool. What do you think of this one? That's quite nice as well. Any livery suggestions? I quite like these pink cars. They look cool. That one's really cool. Blue? No, blue doesn't go with it. Mm. Maybe really dark blue. Like that. That's, that's alright. Go for that. I quite like this livery. We need some kind of sponsor. Who should we have? Just put a massive eye racing on there. Oh no, because it clashes so bad. It clashes horribly because it's got red in it. Hellman's? What, Hellman's mayonnaise? Really? Okay, we'll go for that. I don't like, um, I don't like mayonnaise, but we'll go for that. And what about... Let's find another random... Racing for Japan? Uh, suave men. There we go. We'll go for that. I think that's like aftershave or something. No, uh, deodorant. What number should we go for? Let's go for that style. And we'll be number... Oh, and the number wants to be... White with black? Yeah, just some kind of green outline. Um, and the number, how do we choose our car number? Preferred car number, let's go 666, just to be silly. There we go. Done, right, that's our, that's our thing now. So let's go practice with it. Go racing. Where is it? USF 2000, register. Here we go. I hope I don't hate this car. Now I just bought it on Catman's account. Let's go. Let's go. He's sharing the link to this stream. so much coffee. I'm going to need to just do a few laps and go for a wee. Right, but this is fixed setup, which is great. Let me just double check. It's definitely fixed setup. Yep, fully fixed. So we can't change the setup, which I love. So, oh, okay. I do not love that view, though, so let's fix that. We want to go a lot higher. Oh, yeah, we have to set up controls. Oh, 
Right, that's a bit better. I can kind of see where I'm going now. The pit lane speed limit is 56 kilometers per hour. Your exit is clear. Watch the this white is line. It's going to feel so fast compared to the last car. Hang on, we can still have a safe pit exit if we rejoin the pit lane, I think. Watch your speed. Oh my god, this is so much better. Oh, we, we had an unsafe pit exit. Let's try again. Cooper tires. So, we need to know how you start these as well. What's the best start procedure? Looks like you're clear on the pit exit. That's not enough clutch. Let's try a bit more clutch. Nailed it. This car sounds amazing. Force feedback feels great. Love the backfire. So this is going to feel like a slow Formula 3 car. Rolling start. Okay, thanks, dude. Right, we need to move our bias backwards because it locks the front really easily. Mega car, though. This is cool. This is what the form this is what the Mist Apex series should be. Because it's a little bit slower than the F3. A little bit less downforce. Well, a lot slower than the F3, but I mean, this would be a real good a real good car to fight in. Let's change the mirrors. There we go, I can see what's behind me now. I don't know how long the tyres take to warm up. Quite a lot of understeer so far. Your attempt off the pace in sector one. Thanks, Steve. You're a tenth off the pace in sector one. Got a lot of time to find. Just getting used to the understeer.
Shepard, B2. Sector 2 and 3 are fast. You're a tenth off in Sector 1. That was a 123.76. Sector one time is good. Slightly wide, that's annoying. Sector two time is good. No, I'm not Moritz. No, no butt kick or anything. It would annoy my girlfriend if I had all that rumbling going through the house. All three sectors are pretty quick. Bugger. So I've got that rear overheating starting now, but you've still got turning under still. Sector one's quick. Your times are good in all three sectors. Oh, I turned in slightly too late. Slightly too late there as well. Break too gently. You've got to turn in super early because there's so much understeer. Your quickest lap in this session. That lap time was 123.72. Sector one time is good.
That was rubbish. Now that started off good, and it got really bad. That's your quickest lap in this session. Your times are good in all three sectors. You've got to go in so early to make it work. I was just experimenting a bit there. So I went down an extra gear there by mistake. <laughs> Sector one time's okay. Sector two time is good. Lovely slipstream. Your quickest overall. You're now 1.5 seconds quicker than second place. Sector three time is fast. Car right, clear right, right side, clear right. Sorry, dude. I was out of control. My fault completely. I tried to avoid you really hard and I just couldn't slow down enough. That was a horrible move. But I was just practicing for the race. Look at that, fully locked up, fully out of control. The guy gave me all the space he possibly could. Like, he could not have been nicer to me. And I just, just had no, no way of slowing down anymore. It was the end of the session anyway. But fully locked up, both fronts. And then come off the brakes, then lose the rear into him. Poor guy. Boom. God, if that was in a race, I'd be really upset with me. Especially, but I think he's actually okay. Oh, his front wing's slightly bent. The damage model's lovely. My car was completely fine. <laughs> oh, well. Right, anyway, that's the end of that session. So we'll get ready for the race, which is in... How long? 40 minutes? So I'll just withdraw from that session. Right, I think we're, we're kind of up to speed now with the track. I'm happy that we can race at the track, especially in the split we're going to get put in. So, uh, US Formula Ford. Where is it? Where can I click on it? Here we go. So, we want to register for this one here, this 1pm race. We can't do that yet. Eight minutes, we can do that. What if I put that up? 
Here we go. I'll just leave that up for a minute. Back soon.
back to more coverage. Is it time yet? Can we register? Yes, here we go. It's clear. Push. Oh, for God's sake, Tom Wedge is in there. Just overall.
guy behind has just done a 126.00. Sector 2 time is okay. You're currently 2.7 seconds, quicker than second. Sector three times quick. <laughs> Sector one is quick. <laughs> Quickest overall. Well, that was a 123.17. The guy behind has just done a 125.39. Way too late, Tony. Way too late. What are you doing? Sector two time is quick. It's a car exit in the pits. Sector 3 is 1.4 seconds off the pace. Left side, clear left. Clear left. Watch your speed limit in the pits. 
Activate limiter. Box in. Three hundred meters. Got my arm too, man. How long have we got? 18 minutes. Where's my mouse gone? There it is. Guy behind has just done a 125.23.
Miox, the next race is in like five minutes. Ten minutes. Do we check flags to come up in the right place? If I do a little crash. There's traffic behind. Watch your mirrors. So if we just crash the car. Let's see if the flag comes up. Look out for the, the pit right speed place. limit. The guy behind has just done a 124.11. Trying to make it give us a. We've been called into the pits for repairs. Ah, okay, now the flag isn't showing where it should. Let's have a look. Let's have a look. So where are my flags? Flags. Here. Right, maybe they should be above the overlay. There we go. 
Perfect. Okay, now the flag's showing in the right place. Cool. Let's lock that in position. Coffee, race is soon. Five minutes.
the guy behind has just done a 123.94. Okay. That's what you get when you don't leave the space. Must be time. Surely. Two minutes. Less than two minutes. One and a half minutes. How many people? 19. It's going to be one split. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Traffic behind. On your right, clear right. It takes it looks clear. I'm sure the car's fine. We've we'll been called into the pits by the stewards for repairs. No, nah, it's fine. It's fine. Oh, mate, you hit me. I can't believe you just drove over me. What are you doing? I can't believe you just crashed straight into me. Okay, the race is starting. Here we go. Race. Let's go. Love this song. Here we go. Two minutes to qualifying. Oh, we're in the second split. And we are 10th seed in the second split. Standing start or rolling start? You got fast repair, that's cool. The track temperature's decreasing. It's now 33 Celsius. Guys, does anybody know if this is a standing start or a rolling start? Standing start. Okay, I should probably practice. Thank you. It's 
to the standing start, we need to work Vitex out is clear. Position. Don't cross the white line. Well, Steve Greenwood, you're telling me it's rolling, but the guy in the chat said it's standing. So now I don't know who to believe. So let's try with like this much clutch. Qualifying time. We go. The pit exit's clear. All right, Brad, we've got two laps. Let's get this done. Getting my um, delta. There we go. Session optimal lap. That was nearly an off track. That was so bad. That was so bad. Right, we need to not crap that now. That was so bad. Sorry, everyone. That's pole. And we're already two tenths down at turn one. We lost so much time at the end of that lap. That was rubbish as well. Oh, we got an off 
truck! What a rubbish qualifying session! <sighs> Where would we have been? P2, it would have been P2. Oh well. That was awful! I cocked that up in so many places. Wow, that was bad. P4 now. Look at that, we've got a fight on our hands. The random comment, Mioxa. Oh, rolling start. It is a rolling start, Steve. Damn it. Okay, two minutes till the start. Thanks, Moritz. <laughs> Thank you for that, Moritz. Forty five seconds until we get to start. Ah, that's bad look. In the second split, we're already in the middle of the pack. In a fixed setup race, that is bad. We should have been an easy second there if I hadn't just messed up. I know more up somewhere. session P5. So how the hell does rolling start work? I have to do a whole a whole rolling lap. So we have a whole rolling lap.
Steve Greenwood, when am I allowed to overtake? Is it as soon as it goes green? Track temp is 34 Celsius, 15 minutes. You've not got much time to sort this out. Short race. Follow car number one in the left column. Thanks, Steve. Good luck, everyone. Okay, Brad, be ready. Green, green, green. Right side. Hold your line. Play right. So much understeer. P4. It's hard to follow at Laguna Seca. You just have no front end.
Alright, we need to get this guy. Right. Oh, okay. Clear right. And we're broken. We're broken. Looks like ah, the off okay. I'm pretty sure open. he just turned in on us there, but we're out. Don't think I can make it back to the pits like that. We've been called into the pits for repairs. I'll try and get back. Ah, that's annoying. He kind of left the door open, and then when we went in the gap, he just closed closed the door. Pretty sure I didn't just understeer into him. We do have a fast repair, so let's just go back to the pits. I think we're in last. Oh. Hi, Rachel Douglas. There's an incident in the corkscrew. It looks like Baz. I think we're going to get disqualified from all of our uh, off tracks trying to get back to the pits. Okay, Brad. The next car is Baz. Yellow flag. The wheels do fall off very easily in these things. Yes, we're past that guy. Oh no, I oh, know. We're going to get disqualified. We've got nine off tracks now. We can't turn left. speed limit is 56 kilometers per hour. Engage the limiter. Box in 290 meters. 10 minutes remaining. 10 minutes. Box in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Box now. Tracks clear. Push, push, push. Nice and smooth with that throttle. Keep it balanced. Tenth position. <laughs> the leader's just done a 123.00. to watch that replay after the race, see what actually happened. I'm pretty sure he just turned in on me. Catch P9. How long have we got? Eight minutes. We might be able to do it. 20 seconds and eight minutes.
Alright Brad, you're halfway home. Got plenty of fuel. That lap was at 123.68. The sky in, the gap's now 19 seconds. They're slower than us through the Andretti hairpin. <laughs> Okay Brad, five minutes to go, five minutes left. front is now 18 seconds. The 
ten. Just two minutes left, two minutes to go. One more to go. Looks like P4 has gone off in turn one. <laughs> Yellow flag, keep your wits about you, mate. <laughs> Tenth position, there's the chequered flag. <laughs> right, let's see that crash. Okay, that isn't how it felt, but yeah, I mean, the gap is open and I'm committed to it from quite a long way back here. Like from here, you know, from this point onwards, I'm like definitely going down, but I'm already committed and look how he's moving across. So I'm like, I've still got my intentions. I'm on the inside and I'm like, right, I'm here now. And he goes, I'm coming across, coming across, coming across, but I, I can't go any tighter at that point. I'm, I'm on the limit of how tight I can go. And yeah, he just, he needed to have, he needed to have moved into that space earlier than that or blocked it off because he basically invited a move, goes wide, invites the move and then closes the door. So I can't get through. So I can't see his paint. What's he talking about? His paint.
Ian Tuthill wants me to look at his paint. Let's see what his paint is. Should load in a moment. Is it Monday? I think I might go cook some lunch, guys. Thanks for watching this uh, impromptu Saturday stream. We'll see you for the next one.